Hey everyone, this is from inside the 924. Um, I've done, I think, enough work to the engine for right now, and I'm going to start working on the inside. I need to redo all the electronics and wiring and things like that, and one of the things I need to do is take off the, uh, the rear seats. The front seats are already gone, um, but I need to remove the front seats, so, and all of the carpeting and interior, as you can see, this is yet to come off. That's stuck in a door here. It's all gluey. Um, I think there's another screw that I need to take out over there. But anyways, um, yeah, the seat is the rear seat on these are interesting. They were held on by these little brackets here. You can see where the indents are. But this is this is uh, a 924 turbo, so the rear seats are leather. All this is is leather, and then um, some padding. I think that it goes all the way around and it's held on by glue. So and it's all starting to tear apart. This poor car is what, 33 or 29 years old, something? This poor car is pretty old. It's older than I am. Um, this is for the, where the fuel goes to the fuel tank. Um, Man, it's dirty in here. Look at all those particles. There's the heater um, and blower motor. You can't really see in there. That's the blower motor. From what I understand, it's the same motor as a Mark I Volkswagen Rabbit, I think. Or if you're somewhere that isn't the United States, probably called something else. This is the dash, if it'll focus. Um, this is the dash that I've removed. This is my old hacky uh, wiring job that I had for my Mega Squirt. It's pretty bad. It was only temporary. It worked though, surprisingly enough. Um, the shifter. There's uh, my trusty electronic screwdriver. When we removed the dash, I wasn't expecting this video to go so long, but while I'm here, I might as well show you. This is a passenger footwell. This is a hole that we drilled out for the mega squirt. Normally, I guess it would sit here, I think, is where we had it mounted, I want to say. And then the wiring harness would fit through there. Um, unfortunately, whoop, it would fit through there. Um, unfortunately, since we're reworking all of this, this hole is just a waste now. I guess I'll just plug it, but we're not going to end up using it. Um, this. I have no idea what it's for. Um, I'm not sure where it goes. It's kind of strange. There's some other weird stuff up there. Is some rust actually. That's not good. That's that. This is where the heater would sit. Um, that goes to. That would connect to the block and the rest of the heater stuff. And this is where it gets really fun. You see this this mess. Um, so, the 924 originally came out in, I think, 1978, and in 1978, um, it was, it had a pretty minimalistic set of, uh, electronics and everything on it, so it seems like every year they added something new, and by the time the 1981 924 Turbo came out, they had an O2 sensor system, and they had a full-blown electronic injection or ignition I'm sorry and it just if rather than reworking everything they decided to just continue to add there was two different fuse blocks a bunch of different relays uh, just a ton of different harnesses this actually had um, the uh, alarm system um, and I mean it's just it's a total disaster I mean I'm trying to safely disassemble all this, and I'm kind of to the point where I think I'm just gonna start chopping shit apart because this is unreal. You can see those are the grounds back there. Um, if the dash was in the car and the fuse boxes were in, those would be completely inaccessible. I'm not exactly sure what they were thinking when they put all of this together. Um, and this is a Speedo cable, it broke. Um, some stuff looks shiny back there. That's actually glue. Um, the car smells like 1981 glue. It smells very musky. 
Um, when I first got the car, I couldn't figure out what the smell was, and it was the glue. It wasn't mildew or anything. It's a very interesting smell. Um, but as I, I'm going to take all this shit out. For a 1981, there's a surprising amount of sound dampening and in all of this stuff. I mean, then the carpet itself was pretty thick. They they definitely put a lot of work into making sure the car was, I guess, as quiet as it could be for a 1981. I, I don't even think that cars nowadays are made to the same standard. I know I had a 93 Saab 900, and there was no, there was no sound dampening between the cabin and the firewall. It was just your seat is is right where I'm sitting right now, and then that was it. There was nothing in between. It was ridiculously loud. Um, so that's that's pretty interesting. Um, the steering column it's not hooked up right now, uh, and I think that that's pretty much it. There's there's not really a lot to see here. Um, this is the back of the dash. I guess it's it's interesting because it's all cardboard. It's not nothing is plastic. This is all cardboard, um, and it 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 may seem or sound chintzy. But the cool thing about it is if it breaks, like this broke when I was taking it out, it's really easy to fix. It's not like plastic where if it cracks or splinters or something, it just it completely breaks apart and then it's destroyed. Since this is all cardboard or press board, it's really, really easy to fix. I mean, look, the stuff is stapled in. It's really cool. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Um, I don't really have anything else to say. Um, so yeah, making progress. Hopefully this will be gone next time.